You may have heard of the seven wonders of the world, but do you know what they are? Today, I want to give you the historical context behind each of the seven wonders. The seven wonders of the world were first described as Themata by Philo of Byzantium in 235 BCE. Themata is the Greek word for things to be seen, which in modern English would be equivalent to the phrase must seize. Although Philo was the first to write about the seven wonders, he wasn't the only one. Multiple other writers in the ancient world disagreed with Philo, calling some wonders he listed into question. The following seven wonders are the ones that are traditionally accepted. The first wonder is the Great Pyramid at Giza. The pyramid was built from 2584 to 2561 BCE for the Egyptian pharaoh Khufu. This pyramid was the tallest man-made structure in the world for nearly 4,000 years. The structure's perfect symmetry and height attracted people from all over the ancient world. Unfortunately, the Great Pyramid at Giza is the only wonder of the ancient world that still exists. The second wonder is the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The gardens were built by Nebuchadnezzar II from 605 to 562 BCE as a gift to his wife to make her happy. The ancient Greek historian Diodorus Siculus described the gardens as self-watering plains of exotic flora and fauna reaching a height of over 75 feet through a series of climbing terraces. Although Diodorus and Philo both wrote about the gardens, there is still a chance that the gardens never existed. There is no physical evidence of the hanging gardens found in Babylon which spawned two theories, the first being that it was completely mythical and a romanticized view of eastern gardens, and if they did exist, they were destroyed in an earthquake in the first century. The second theory is that the gardens were actually in the Assyrian city Nineveh. The third wonder is the statue of Zeus at Olympia. The statue was created by the famous ancient Greek sculptor Phidias. The statue had the Greek god Zeus seated on a throne. Zeus's skin was made of ivory with robes of hammered gold and stood at 40 feet tall. This structure was created to all the worshippers who came to the temple of Zeus at Olympia. The statue was brought to Constantinople and then destroyed in either the 5th or 6th century by an earthquake. The fourth wonder is the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. The temple was sponsored by King Croesus of Lydia and was finished in 550 BCE. It stood at 425 feet tall and 225 feet wide and was supported by 127 60-foot high columns. Every account of this temple is written with awe and a collective agreement that this is one of the most amazing structures ever created by humans. Unfortunately, on July 21st, 356 BCE, a man named Herostratus set the temple on fire. His reasoning was to achieve lasting fame by forever being associated with the destruction of something so beautiful. The Ephesians agreed to not keep record or remember Herostratus, but his name was written down as a point of interest anyway. Alexander the Great was born on the same night it burned down, and later in his life he offered to rebuild it, but the Ephesians declined the offer. The temple was rebuilt anyway after Alexander's death, only to be destroyed and rebuilt and destroyed again. The fifth wonder is the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. The mausoleum was built by craftsmen at the request of Artemisia after the death of her husband in 353 BCE. But two years after her husband's death, Artemisia had died and her remains were entombed with her husband. Records indicate that the mausoleum was still under construction by craftsmen after both of their deaths. The finished mausoleum was 135 feet tall 
and ornately decorated with sculptures. The mausoleum was destroyed by multiple earthquakes and laid in ruin for hundreds of years. But in 1494 CE, the Knights of St. John of Malta recycled the material to build their castle at Bodrum. Today, we use the English word mausoleum, which derives from the tomb of Masolus. The sixth wonder is the Colossus of Rhodes. The statue was commissioned after the defeat of Demetrius's invading army in 304 BCE. Construction took place from 292 to 280 BCE. The statue was of the god Helios and stood at over 110 feet tall overlooking the harbor of Rhodes. The Rhodesians sold their leftover weapons and equipment from Demetrius' army to fund the statue's construction. The statue unfortunately only stood for 56 years until it was destroyed by an earthquake in 226 BCE. The ruins remained in place for another 800 years and was still frequently visited by tourists. But according to historical records, the bronze ruins were eventually sold to a Jewish merchant in Edessa around 634 CE, who carried them away on 900 camels to melt down. The seventh and final wonder of the ancient world is the Lighthouse of Alexandria. The lighthouse was commissioned by Ptolemy I, who was one of the many successor kings to Alexander the Great's empire. Construction was finished around 280 BCE. The lighthouse stood on Pharos Island and was 440 feet tall, which made it the third tallest man-made structure in the world. The light from the lighthouse was able to be seen from as far as 35 miles out to sea. Once again, the structure was badly damaged by an earthquake in 956 CE, and by 1480 CE, it was completely destroyed. Fort Catby now resides where the lighthouse once stood. If you haven't noticed the common trend, it's that nature doesn't like the greatest architectural achievements of the ancient world. Hopefully the Great Pyramid at Giza will continue to stand for future generations to see. But that concludes this video, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. And with all that said, I hope to see you in the next chapter.